Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my current favorite products. Um, I'm really excited about a lot of these. I usually share a lot of my favorite products on Instagram, but there's just so many that I've been loving recently that I just wanted to make a whole video dedicated to it. Um, I tried to film this on my camera, but it died. And I wanna get this like up, or I wanna get this recorded right now because I actually have time, which is rare. Um, so yeah, I am just going to be talking about some of my current favorite products and yeah, so let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So this stuff is seriously so amazing. It smells super good. Mm. I had my nephew smell it the other day and he was like, mmm. <laughs> he loves smelling things. It's so cute. But um, this is in the color, oh gosh, I'm getting it everywhere. Um... Sunkissed bronzer Sunkissed maybe I don't know I think they have multiple colors but this is what it looks like and it's just so pretty and it has maru maru butter in it so it blends out really pretty as well and it lasts and yeah I can't say enough good things about this for the price it's only $15 which for drugstore is a little bit more expensive but compared to my other bronzers I have like $50 bronzers so this is a little bit cheaper do you guys like that I'm still using my Easter mug? I have like so many mugs, but I don't want to like unpack them since I'm moving in a couple months. Um, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know, but I am moving to Clemson, South Carolina. Um, my boyfriend goes to school down there. So I feel like I've mentioned that in a video before. So yeah, I am moving down there in August. So yes, that is why my background is the way it is and why everything's always a mess because my room's always a mess. <laughs> this room is half the size of my old room. So, um, cause it, we moved like my family, my mom and dad, I live with them. Um, and we moved to a different house. They got two different houses. They got um, a lake home and then a home in the cities or in the suburbs. And yeah, but enough about that. Um, so moving on, the next favorite, I have mentioned this on my Instagram, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, but it is the Chanel CC Cream. I wear this pretty much like on days that I'm not wearing like full glam like I am today. I actually am wearing this. I mixed it with another foundation, but yeah, I like this just on like quick and easy days. It has SPF 50 in it, which is nice and yeah. So I really like this. I know it has a hefty price tag, but it really does look super nice on the skin. It just kind of looks like your skin, but better. So I really like this. Um, I also pair it with the Chanel Tan de Soleil, uh, which I've talked about that one multiple times, so I didn't want to include it in this. And I just want you guys to know that this isn't all of my favorite products because we would be here for probably like 10 hours. Um, this is just like my current like newer favorites that I feel like I haven't really talked about a whole lot. So yeah, this isn't all of my favorites because I have a lot of favorites. So yeah, the only complaint that I have about this is honestly the color range. The color range kind of sucks. Um, I did originally get 30 and it was way too light and now I have 40 and I still feel like that's a little bit lighter and I think they only have one darker shade. So uh, their shade range, it needs some improving um, because I'm really not that dark at all. Like tan wise, like I, usually this is as tan as it gets for me. And I know a lot of you probably think that I am pretty tan, but I mean, usually when I get foundations, I'm like the first shade of medium. So there's usually like the rest of the medium and then dark and then sometimes like deep. So I don't know. I feel like they need, I shouldn't be the second to darkest or the second darkest shade. They might have more. I could be wrong, but I feel like they only have five shades. I feel like it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but I could be wrong. Um, okay. The next thing is, ooh, let's talk about this. Whoa. Um, it is the Jeffree Star Translucent Powder. I am obsessed with this powder. It is my favorite for under my eyes and um, my T-zone. So I put it under my eyes and then right here and then on my chin. Um, I like to put it here because it kind of helps mattify, but more um, it 
like literally makes my pores invisible. So I'm obsessed with that. I really don't have as big of pores as I used to. They're still noticeable, but they aren't as big just because I've been taking better care of my skin. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this stuff. I also have the concealer. I didn't include it in this video just because it's a really good concealer and I do recommend it, but I wouldn't say that it's anything that like blows me out of the water. Like, again, it is an amazing concealer and I do use it very frequently, but it's just nothing that like blows me out of the water. I feel like it's very similar to like my Fenty one. I actually think I like my Fenty one better. Um, it's just a little bit more creamier, um, but if you like a really thin consistency and full coverage, you're going to love the Jeffree Star one. And I do love it. I just didn't feel like I needed to mention it in this video, but I already did. So whatever. <laughs> um, okay. The next thing is, oh, speaking of concealers, this one I did want to give a shout out to because it, it it's an amazing concealer and it's really affordable. I want to say it is, I would look it up on my phone, but I'm recording on it because my camera's dead. Um, I want to say it's like six dollars um and it is the makeup obsession mega conceal concealer so i'm actually wearing it right now i really like this concealer um i was really impressed by it i feel like there's a lot of good concealers out there there really is um i used to kind of like the makeup revolution one but i like this one better so if you're going for a cheaper um concealer definitely look at this one they have it at target and yeah, it's called Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. And the wand is actually kind of like unique. Like, I don't think I really even, I'm not obsessed with the wand. It's fine, but I just feel like it's a little bit harder to apply. I don't know. So yeah, um, I really like this concealer. It's really good. Full coverage, doesn't crease. Yeah. You okay. care. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this product. Um, not that it's a favorite, but I just, <sighs> okay, so it's a favorite, but not. So it is the Kylie um, setting spray. So I love this setting spray, but unfortunately it kind of broke me out, which has happened to setting sprays before. Max, Fi Mac Fix Plus, I can't use because it breaks me out. Um, it just, it gives me like little bumps. Um, so yeah, I I have like sensitive-ish skin. I wouldn't say that I have full-on sensitive skin, but I have sensitive-ish skin. Um, so yeah, this is, if you, if MAC Fix Plus doesn't break you out or you feel like a lot of setting sprays don't, then definitely try this out. But I, for some reason, have a sensitivity to, sensitive, or to setting sprays. So I can't use this one. It stinks because I absolutely love it. It keeps me like matte all day long but I can't use it, unfortunately. So I think I'll still keep it and like use it on days that like I need my makeup to last all day long and I need to be like matte, like a super hot summery day and then just deal with the little red bumps um, the next day because they go away after a day. So it's not like it's the biggest deal in the world, but unfortunately I can't really use that. Okay. The next thing, oh, this primer, it is so good. The only thing I don't like is that it's in a white bottle because I get I get it very messy. It's very messy right now. Um, it is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. So you guys know that their foundation is my absolute favorite foundation of all time, the face and body one. It's amazing, but their primer is equally as amazing. I love it. It fills pores, um, helps keep your T-zone matte. It just, it's like a... It's kind of like a, it's not like a silicone-y. I don't think there's any silicone in it, to be honest. Um, it's kind of like a milky, moisturizing texture. So, not that you guys can even really see this, but like it's kind of like milky-ish and like moisturizer texture. You know how like some just like feel silicone-y? This one just kind of feels like a really nice like moisturizer. So yeah, it smells so good too. I know that um dior is a little bit pricier but i really really enjoy this primer so if you are in the market for a new primer i would definitely check this one out it is rather pretty i've never used it on my body i've never put foundation on my body but maybe it'd be good for that too who knows um okay the next thing <laughs> it's my cold roller um it's not in here right now it's in the freezer I like to put my cold rollers in the freezer, but I've been obsessed with my cold roller. Um, I didn't 
honestly, I didn't even include any skincare in here, which is strange because I have so many favorites. Maybe I'll do a different video dedicated to like favorite skincare products, but I really love this. I put it, or I do it before my moisturizer after I do like um, a sheet mask. Oh my God, that's like my favorite thing. Or after I do like a nice serum or something, I like to cold roll it in. It just really helps um, with like puffiness um pores and just like making your skin feel good like my skin just like feels and looks amazing after oh actually here's one of the inserts i like the metal one better but basically what you do it's like this and then you just roll it on. i'm not gonna roll it on my skin because i have a bunch of makeup on right now but you just roll it on your skin and it just feels so nice especially in the summer oh i did it the other day after i had done like a long walk so good okay we're just gonna leave that in there mm -hmm. okay we talked about that you guys i'm wearing this foundation today i mixed it with my chanel cc cream but you guys i am so excited about this foundation i really thought that it wasn't gonna be like like i thought i was gonna like like it but just never reach for it because of the claims um it is supposed to be a like velvety matte finish and like intensely full coverage and I'm like I'm not I don't really like in high school that's probably that would have been my jam is like super matte and um super matte and full coverage because I had acne and I was very oily but now I'm more on the combo side and I don't really need like full full coverage like I like a good like full coverage more like medium to full coverage foundation just because I don't really need it anymore um my skin is really nice I work really hard to have nice skin sorry there was like a little brush hair on my skin um I work really hard to have nice skin so I just kind of want to let it like peek through normally but I'm obsessed with this foundation. So it is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. You guys, this stuff is the bomb. I feel like even if you have dry skin, you might even still like it. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have super dry skin, so I can't say. You might have to look up a review for that one. But if you have combo or if you have oily skin, you need this. I wore it, um, I've been wearing it on days that like, um, I've been outside for a really long time and usually like my makeup starts to get super like oily and blah, blah, blah. Like I was out at, I was at an outside event on Saturday night. Um, and it was pretty hot and I had been wearing my makeup for a majority of the day and night and, um, it looked really good still throughout the night. Like I didn't get super oily and it wasn't like wearing off. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this foundation. If you're looking for a new foundation, that um will keep you matte through these like insanely hot summer days and um will just look like literally flawless than this one i mean the dior face and body and the dior skin glow are probably still like my absolute favorites but i like this one too those ones are for more when i'm looking for like a glowy i mean i'm always looking for glowy but like you know what i mean like a little bit more like dewy glowy if I'm looking for my makeup to last all day long, I'm going to go for this one. So I'm really excited um, about this foundation for days that like, I'm going to, I know I'm going to be outside, but I still want to have like makeup on because this is going to stay. So, and it's only $20. I know I'm pretty sure it's sold out on the Juvia's Place website, but check your local Ulta um, either online or in store. Not all in, I know the one, if you live in Minnesota, I think Mall of America is the only one that has it. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out for reference. I am the color 500. Their shade range is amazing as well. Okay. Let's talk about lippy glossies. Cause I literally have one, two, three, four, five, five. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go super in depth with all of them just because I have five. So, um, the first one is the Kylie one. This is in the color slept on. Um, I really like this one. It's a good gloss. They're pretty cheap um I think they're what 18 which I know for a lot of people that might not be cheap but um but I don't know I think compared to the other ones that are in here um the next one is the Marc Jacobs uh la, 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 hydrating lip gloss stick ah, 
I think that's what it is. And this is in the color Sugar Sugar. It was a journey and a half for me to get this little thing. I'm not even gonna go into it. <laughs> Took me like two months to get it. Not important. But yeah, I really like this. Um, basically you just like twist it up and apply it to your lips. It's super nice, quick, easy, love it. Um, the next one is the Hourglass Lip Gloss and I have Unreal Lip Gloss and this is in the color Halo. It looks a little bit pinky. That's the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that like I put it over all their lipsticks and then this is supposed to be like a clearish sparkly color but now it looks kind of pinky because I've put it over like Celebrity or Mannequin from Jeffree Star but I really like this. What I will say is it claims to be plumping. I really don't think it's plumping. It doesn't like give me that tingly plumping effect. Um, but I still really like the gloss. It's super pretty. And yeah, they have a lot of colors. So you guys should check it out. It is a little bit pricier, but it's really, really, really pretty. And the packaging's pretty too. Um, oh, oh, this one. Okay, from this is from Pat McGrath, and this is in the color Bronze Divinity. This is so, like, this might be my favorite gloss. Like, the formula is amazing, and the packaging is just sick. They have so many good colors. It is so, like, buttery and, like, mm, on your lips. So I really, really love that, and it lasts a long time, too. And last but certainly not least is Jeffree Star's gloss. I'm wearing it currently right now. This is Legends Only. Um, I have a couple more. I don't really know where they are, but... um. I am wearing this over mannequin right now. So yeah, I really, really like this gloss. It feels so comfortable on your lips. It's not sticky at all. Literally, I wouldn't say it feels like oily, but like, you know, like a lip oil just like makes your lips feel like nice. I would say it just like makes my lips feel like nice, but I don't feel like it's sticky at all. So yeah that's that oh one more lip thing and it is the lineage lineage whatever um lip glowy balm and i have berry um these are only 15 dollars, and i just think they're super nice to just carry with you all the time they have a slight tint to them but i really like that part but yeah i like these because they really moisturize my lips and they just make my lips look super nice so yeah and you guys know that i'm obsessed with the lip sleeping balm and this is their lip glowy balm Okay, I only have like four more things. Um, the next thing is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color. Okay, so this is actually a blush, but it is in the color Sun Kissed and it is so easy and effortless to, bl to blend out. So it's like a nice like rosy bronzish color. So I like to use this um, in combination like over the top of my Chanel CC Cream and um, I, and then I put on my Chanel Pan de Soleil and then this on my cheeks and everything just blends out so pretty. I look very like sun kissed and nice. So I really like that stuff. It's really pretty. I'm not a huge fan of this situation, the brush on the back. I just don't use it, but I blend it out with a beauty sponge. Okay. Next thing, I feel like I have mentioned this, but it is my favorite highlighter product and that's saying a lot because I have a full drawer of highlighters. I'm obsessed with highlighters. I am a highlighter whore. Um, this is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Highlighting Mist. So this stuff is amazing. I when I when I first bought it, I thought it was gonna be more like a setting spray. I was really confused and then like I sprayed it all over my face and I was like it looks fine but like I don't think that's what I was supposed to do and so then I looked it up and you know you're just supposed to spray it on like your cheeks but you guys this makes your like I don't even know how to how it works like I really don't like you spray it on your cheeks and it just gives you like everything's like blended together because you know how sometimes when you put on highlighter it's just kind of like not blended that great like you can kind of like tell a like a line-ish situation going on so I love this stuff because it seriously looks so beautiful and so natural um, I also like to wear this on my everyday natural days where I'm just wearing like not a whole lot of makeup, but I also like to wear it like right now I'm wearing it over the top of my Fenty, whatever. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed with this stuff. I want to get more colors. I have it in the color We Need Her Gold Pearl. 
I also want to try the body glow situation. Maybe I'll do that next. Okay, last two things. They aren't really makeup. Okay, this stuff. Okay, so I've heard of the way, or I think that's how you pronounce it, way. I don't know. Um, blow, or dry, dry shampoo foam. And I always was kind of weirded out about it. I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. Um, but I, so I never really tried it just because it is kind of expensive and I can get a lot of hair products at salon cost at like salon stores and they don't have that at salon stores. So I never really have bought it, but I do like their shampoo and conditioner, but that's beyond what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I get sidetracked a lot. Um, so I never really tried it, but then one of my clients, Jill, um, she's super amazing. She was like, you need to try this. And I was like, okay. And so she like texted me later that night and she like sent me the link of it. And um, it was a product that I could get at the salon store. Cause at first I was like, mm, if I can't get it at the salon store, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Just cause again, I like to be able to get it at the salon store. And it was a brand that I actually already knew. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'll try it. So it is seriously such a unique product. It is by Design Me and it is called the Quickie Me. And their little description's a little raunchy. No matter the time of day, you'll be ready for a quickie. It's <laughs> Um, but anyways, so it is cleanse, detox, refresh for all hair types. So I was kind of nervous when I put this in my hair that it would kind of like, cause I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair one to two times a week. And I was nervous that it was going to like, cause a lot of times when my hair gets wet, um, it just like, yeah, like it gets gross. So I was nervous that like, once I put this in my hair, it was just going to get like returned to like my natural hair. Like when I don't do, don't do anything to it but it didn't, it was wild. And it literally like, I felt like I um, like had clean hair. Like a, a lot of times with dry shampoo, I'm like, okay, I don't look like I have greasy hair, but I still kind of feel like I do, like, you know? But this literally, it made me feel like I just washed my hair. This stuff is amazing. Like I cannot say enough good things about it. And I used it after it because one of my biggest like eh, things is like after I work out, I, I mean, I don't wash my hair. I try not to wash my hair every day because it's so bad for your hair. And so I, I really don't like it because like, I just feel like my roots, um, I just feel like kind of dirty after I get done working out and they're just kind of like sweaty and this stuff. I like if you work out all the time and you don't like to wash your hair that much, you need this because you just put it in your hair and then your hair feels clean, but you still have your style that you or like when you styled your hair, you still have that going for you, you know? So I'm obsessed with this stuff and you need it. And yeah. And also I feel like with dry shampoo, maybe this is just me. I feel like I need to apply it every single day. This I applied it yesterday and I do not need it right now. Like I don't need to reapply it. Like my hair still feels clean. So definitely try this out. All right. The last thing is this. And I, I really don't talk a whole lot about clothes, but this needed a mention. And this, like, I wasn't even intending on buying this. I just like was buying a romper from Free People and the model had this underneath it. And I was like, meh, sure, why not? So this is their F from FP move, Movement free people movement and it is like a little like cropped bralette sports bra type situation this is so cute you guys like it is it is the most comfortable thing i've slept in it multiple times now because and which is a lot because i like i literally sleep in baggy t-shirts because i'm like i like to be comfortable when i sleep but this stuff or this is seriously amazing you guys it is 30 dollars, which might be a little pricey depending on what you usually spend on clothes but for me that wasn't that bad um and i'm obsessed with it i literally i need to get every other color i'm trying to find it on the website or i tried to find it on the website and order every color and i got the medium large uh, and I'm glad I did. I'm usually a small in a lot of tops, but I don't know. I was like, mm, I don't really want that. Like, I want this to be comfortable. I don't want it to be like digging into me anywhere. So I'm glad I got the bigger size. And also on the website, it says a lot of people are like, I got the medium large, but I'm normally a small. Um, and I'm so glad that I got the medium large. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. It's very early and I've been talking a lot. So 
with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I have to go take some lash clients and yeah. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of review videos. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Brooke Taren Artistry to see more things about makeup and skincare and lashes and la 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 la. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.